So LUT packs can be honestly just a very frustrating buying experience. Everybody claims to have these looks that can make your footage look very cinematic and, and over the top and, and just super crispy. But if you're anything like me, I've had a few experiences where I've paid for LUTs, I've thrown them on my footage and they look nothing as advertised. So today I'm gonna review Daniel Schiffer's Vintage LUT 2 pack which if you don't know, Daniel Schiffer is a Canadian filmmaker and YouTuber, and he recently just surpassed a million subscribers here on the platform. If you have watched any of his videos, then you'll know he has a very unique and creative and stylized look to his footage, and that in part is due to his color grading style. I paid for his LUT pack about a year ago or so, and I've used them off and on and uh, in different situations and scenarios. And so I'm not going to review the entire LUT pack just because I think there are about 10 and I don't want to go through all 10, but I'm going to go through a few that I think are going to be the most useful to you. And by the end of the video, hopefully uh, you'll have a good understanding of whether or not you'd be interested in the pack. So with all that being said, let's hop into Final Cut Pro and check them out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro and I've loaded up five clips that I'm gonna demonstrate these LUTs on. Um, all of these clips were shot in my custom Cine 2 picture profile, which if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out after this one. But this is a relatively flat picture profile, which is perfect because as far as I know, Daniel Schiffer shoots, I think on Cine 4 or even maybe an S-Log uh, picture profile. So the flatter, the better. So this first clip is just a little 120 frames per second slow-mo of me standing in these woods. And so what I'll do first is throw just a basic color correction on. Nothing has changed too much here, just add a little more contrast and a little more saturation. And then on this next layer here is the actual LUT. Now this is gonna be Daniel Schiffer's basic LUT, that's the name of it. This is by far, I would say, his most popular LUT. This is the most featured LUT, at least, that I see on his channel, and this is by far the one that I use the most out of his pack. Now one thing for me that's really important when it comes to LUTs is skin tones. If you have bad skin tones, your entire footage, in my opinion, just doesn't look as cinematic or clean. And so if you're gonna have people in your film, in your video, you wanna make sure that the skin tones are looking clean. And so as we toggle it on and off, you can see that the skin tones really aren't affected, at least the coloring of them are not at all by this LUT. Obviously there's a little more contrast, a little more saturation. The impact of this LUT uh, is just pretty simple. So that's obviously why it's called basic. And let's just take a look at a few more uh, examples of footage. Here's a classic, whoops, talking head video that I did not too long ago. And again, I'm just gonna add a basic color correction, a little more saturation, change the exposure and throwing on the basic LUT. I think that looks really, really good. And this is probably a better example of what the LUT does to skin tones. I would say if anything, it's made them just slightly on the red side, but not it's, it, they don't look unnatural whatsoever, which I think is very, very important. And I think overall, this basic LUT just gives a very clean, very simple look to your footage. Heading over to the next clip is just a simple landscape uh, video shot here. Now, when I add my basic uh, color correction here, you're gonna see a lot more contrast, a lot more saturation than normal. That's because for whatever reason, this clip just shot incredibly flat. So if I just throw the LUT on by itself, obviously you can see there's a lot more that needs to be done. So I went ahead and color corrected first. Then once I throw the LUT on, you know, it has a really, really strong punchy look to it, which obviously you can uh, reduce the intensity of this look if you want. I always keep my LUTs all the way on at 100%. But as you can see here on a landscape shot, I think it just looks really, really neat. It definitely has a vintage look to it, which is a really cool thing in my opinion. And I think my favorite part about this LUT is just that all the colors look very natural. Uh, nothing looks out of whack. And like I said, this will be, I think by far, the most commonly used LUT that you would use if you picked up his pack. Okay, and on this final shot here, it's kind of a random little clip that I made not too long ago, but uh, throw the LUT on first. Now, just that alone by itself, it could be totally fine, but let me throw a color correction on first and then put the LUT on as the finishing touch. And this clip, man, I think the colors look phenomenal. So that's the basic LUT. Let's go over a few other ones here quickly, just to give you a good idea of the variety that you'll get. So let's head over to uh, this one called Casio. In my opinion, this is very similar to the basic LUT in the sense that it's not uh, it's not overdone. The colors aren't all out of whack. 
Obviously, I would say the skin is just a little bit on the red side, which again, not a huge deal. The overall contrast and saturation is a little stronger in the basic as opposed to the Casio, but you know, I don't think this looks bad at all. Show it on a few of the other clips that we had here. You know, still gives a really nice, unique look to the landscape one. To this overview of the camera, you know, I think it still looks great. As you can kind of see here in the greens on the bottom right of the frame, once we apply the LUT, they turn a little bit more on the orange side. So that's probably one of the biggest uh, adjustments that this LUT does. And then head over to this one here, go to Casio. And yeah, it doesn't, oops, it doesn't look bad whatsoever. To me, it's just a little more on the flat side than I prefer, which again, uh, maybe if you're not filming people, if you're doing something like more of a product, you know, I think it looks great. The next LUT we'll check out is his one called Houston. This is probably my second favorite and second most commonly used one that he has. Uh, I don't use it too often just because now we're kind of getting the skin tones to an unnatural color, but I bet if we look over at this landscape one, yeah, it has, has just a really nice, neat feel to it. His LUT pack is called Vintage, so obviously they're all gonna have kind of a faded, uh, vintage, almost like VHS style feel and vibe to it, which if you're into that, then I think you'll love these colors. You can kind of see on this clip here with the greens, you know, he definitely desaturated them a lot. And again, added some more oranges in there. Next one we'll do here is called his Corduroy LUT, if I can click on it. Now this one, um, obviously I personally wouldn't use this for a talking head uh, color. Again, I've already said it, I want my skin tones to be natural and this definitely doesn't have a natural look, but I've got to imagine there are several instances where this look would look really good. I've kind of seen these colors pop up a lot on Instagram lately where there's just a lot more kind of pinks and, and, and magentas and purples in there. And so if that's the look you're going for, you'll probably really like this one. Uh, I do use it here and there. I use it for a product video that I did not too long ago and I thought it turned out great. I just don't use it all the time. Here, I'll do this clip real quick. You know, it definitely doesn't look bad whatsoever. I just, I just think you have to be having, you have to shoot the right video with the right feel and the right tone to it for these colors to work. And then the last one that I'll go over with you guys is his one called DeLorean. Now, this one is definitely a very stylized look. Uh, again, I probably wouldn't use it uh, as is at least for talking head shots. Not to say you can't ever, but at least with the current setup that I have, I probably wouldn't. But going over to this landscape one, um, definitely we're seeing a lot of heavy blues and you can kind of see it, especially in the shadows here, uh, he definitely has a lot of cooler colors into it, which I think looks great if, again, if you if you have the right clips, if you have the right video, if you were kind of planning in advance to have a cooler tone to your, to your overall video, then this DeLorean LUT is gonna look really good. And this is a really great example. So you can definitely see even in the highlights as well, uh, how much more cooler blues and tones there are in here. And it's starting to affect the skin tones in this, in this shot, not too bad in a negative way. But uh, yeah, so that's the DeLorean look, and that is overall uh, the probably the four or five most common ones that I've used out of, his, out of his entire pack. There you have it. I think this LUT pack is absolutely worth the price. I think I paid $10 for it. I should have looked at it before I made this video to see uh, how much it's going for right now, but if it's, if it's $10, if it's even less than that, uh, this is no brainer, a, a no brainer. This is a really good deal for you. And uh, like I said, if for nothing else for his basic LUT just by itself, I think that is worth, uh, worth the price of the entire pack. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely leave a like, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and, uh, yeah, go ahead and support Daniel over there. He's doing great things on his channel. He's a great follow if, you, if you're not already subscribed to him. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy his pack if you end up picking it up. But that is all for me today. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.